name's uh, Chris Dobrovolsky. Um, I'm primarily a maker, I construct things. Uh, many years ago, I was a student in Hull and I collected all the driftwood from the riverbank in my first year as a student to build a boat to escape from Art College Inn. Uh, cut a very long story short, it was a complete and utter disaster. Uh, and the harbour master made me set fire to the boat that I'd built on a beach further down the street. Now, uh, 25 years later, I've been invited back to Hull uh, by the Deep and Hull 217 uh, for this commission in the car park of the Deep. The Deep is the world's only submarium, a giant aquarium. One of the things I couldn't help but notice when I walked in was this um, massive gift shop full of plastic animals. Um, now, you know, like it, I'm not, I'm not being holy, holier than now with it. Obviously, you know, the, the deep, like any other place, has to rely on their gifts coming from China now. So, um, but one of the things I loved about it was you had all of these pretend plastic animals that have come all the way from China, the other side of the world, across the very real sea. As with a lot of my work, this project is a lot to do with me playing with this notion of real and unreal. So here we are in a car park with three very ordinary, banal cars that I have made a pretend beach in each one at the size, the level of the, the window. Um, on the beach, you will see each one's got a screen. Um, a couple of them are the back of paintings and other ones made out of plastic animals. And the narrative that's playing on the film is essentially a romanticised, ridiculous um, way in which these plastic animals have washed up on the beach as plastic litter, plastic pollution, along with all the other you know, disposable lighters, bottle caps and things like that. Uh, you also see there's a little detail there that the, the film for each car is coming out of a toy version of the real car coming out of the boot projected onto the screen. And the sound is coming from two conch shells. Um, I just love the idea of the conch shell. It's, a, it's this very romanticised. Uh, somebody actually said it was the. I read somewhere that it was the first ever musical instrument known to man, the conch shell. So I thought that was appropriate that the sound should be coming from there. And I love the sort of uh, the ridiculous uh, juxtaposition between that on this quite industrial, polluted beach where the sounds sounds coming from. They're not, they're not full of sound. I didn't want to stress this. A lot of people, a few, a few people have realised that if they were actually full of sand, the tyres would be flat and the suspension would be virtually on the ground. There's a layer of woodwork between the sand and the actual car. You have to understand that each one of these cars was driven up here. Um, I like each one of the cars that does have a little cameo role in each film. So I wanted that element of authenticity to it. It was practical as well, because I think it was going to be easier to drive them up here than transport three scrap cars up here. But it, we, afterwards it was just nice that afterwards the, the beach is dismantled, the steering wheels are put back on and, uh, and they're sold on um, after they've been hoovered, obviously. A car park isn't like an art gallery, whereas some people wouldn't set foot in an art gallery or a theatre for that matter. Uh, everyone has to go to a car park. So I thought it would be quite uh, interesting to um, expose people to culture. <laughs> um, the music's all Karl Orff music. It's not the sort of thing that you'd listen to on the radio. I'm always one that thinks that art should be what you need rather than what you want. My aim isn't necessarily to entertain people. Uh, my aim is to hopefully stretch people in some way, challenge them. Thank you, thank you,